Jayla, and this is my Christmas train. It's running through this beautiful green meadow. And guess what's in the meadow? Shout it out if you know. Yes, it's a sheep. I've put sheep in the field to make it extra special. Don't they look great? Now for the fun part. This remote will make the train go. Are you ready? Me too. Let's go. First, we'll start off slow. And then faster. Wow, look at how fast it goes. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Hoo, hoo. Racing a Christmas train, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I wish I could go super fast in a real train. Moving fast is fun. It's true. I know some people who ran super fast, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hola, friends! 
guys, I'm Luis the Handyman, but today I'm pretending to be a train conductor. Can you blow your pretend train whistle with me? Woo, woo! <laughs> Great job! I'm so glad you are here today. Are you ready to learn more about the true story of Christmas? Oh, you are? Well then, all aboard the Christmas story train. On the count of three, can you say, all aboard with me? Uno, dos, tres. All aboard! <laughs> the Christmas story train is here to help me tell today's true story from the Bible. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's story begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel with a special message for Mary. The angel said that Mary was going to have a baby, and that baby would be Jesus, God's son. Then, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way to the town of Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, did they stay in a big fancy castle? No, they stayed in a stable full of animals. And then, baby Jesus was born. That night, there were shepherds out in the field taking care of sheep. What sound do sheep make? <laughs> you sound great! <laughs> While the shepherds were watching their sheep, an angel appeared in the sky. There was a bright light shining all around. The shepherds were so afraid. <gasps> oh, show me your best afraid face. <gasps> oh, good job. But the angel said, don't be afraid. God's son Jesus has been born. You will find him in a manger. And suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels, praising God and singing glory to God in the highest. Oh, everyone, stand up with me. Let's all pretend to be angels. Hold out your pretend angel wings. And let's say glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Oh, that was great. Again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, great job. <laughs> okay, you can sit down. Now, what do you think the shepherds did next? The shepherds ran super fast. Oh, wow, so fast. <laughs> Where do you think the shepherds went? Hmm? The shepherds went to go find baby Jesus and they found him just like the angel said. Jesus, God's son, had been born. God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that whistle means it's time for the Christmas story train to leave. But the true story of Christmas isn't over yet. Come back next time to hear more. But for now, everyone wave goodbye to the Christmas story train. Bye, story train. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. The shepherds ran to see Jesus after they heard the good news. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the shepherds were so excited that they ran to find Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. 
The shepherds ran fast, and this train can go fast too. Let's watch it. See you next time. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16.